What I am thankful for in 2018 is an opportunity to be able to retire this year. Um, I have Christian parents uh, that I'm thankful for and a godly heritage. I have been able to spend 28 years in marriage with my awesome husband. And more than anything, I'm thankful for God's mercy and His grace. As I think about 2018, there are many things that I'm thankful for. I am thankful for my family. God has given me a hardworking, loving husband, and He has blessed us with four amazing kids. He has given us lots of extended family and a wonderful church family. He has given us a beautiful world to live in, and God is just so faithful to meet all of our needs every day. I am thankful at this point in my life to be approaching my five-year cancer-free anniversary. And as I am in this season, I am filled with excitement. And I am also filled with a renewing of thankfulness to God for healing me and for extending my life. So I guess to sum it all up, I am thankful for my life and His love. Because without either of those, I would not have all these other blessings to enjoy. I kind of put this off till the last minute, so I'm doing it while I'm driving into town. One of the things that I've come to appreciate, or one of the things that I've come to be thankful for in 2018, is the fellowship of the men at Christ Community Church. They're men that aren't afraid to talk about the love that they have for their wife, the love they have for the Lord. They're not afraid to get their hands dirty, jump in, and help. They're not afraid to correct or make a, uh, give advice when I'm stepping out of line. They're not afraid to tell me I'm stepping out of line. I think that's unusual in a lot of churches. Uh, everybody wants to be politically correct. And this is a bunch of men's men that really bond together. They believe in the passage that says iron sharpens iron and they care for one another in ways that I haven't seen in other fellowships. So I'm really grateful for those men. I'm grateful to be a, a part of the Christ community family and uh, just am grateful for so many things, really, as far as blessings in my life, provisions in my life. And one of those provisions is the friendships that I've been able to develop at, at Christ Community Church. I'm thankful for the prayer warriors that we have at Christ Community. There were some times last fall and this spring and summer that I wasn't really feeling well. And I would mention to some guys that, hey, I'm not feeling well, I need some prayer. And I'll tell you what, they're just ready to just jump all over you with all kinds of prayer. What a blessing that is. There were a few times that Eddie and I would go to prayer meeting and I'd, we'd, I'd come back from prayer meeting just feeling like I'd been in in an oil production facility and uh, just so thankful to be bathed in prayer and you know what I'm feeling so much better thank you Jesus and what a blessing it is to have so many just wonderful prayer warriors just ready and willing to jump on you all over with prayer and I'm thankful for that I am thankful for this season in my life. I'm old enough to have some really good memories, and I'm healthy enough to have, make some really new memories this season. Family, friends, and good health. Those are the things that I am really thankful for this year. We thank God for all his blessings. For all our friends and family. And for our church family. And for the presence of God himself in our lives. Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. What do you thankful for? Mm -hmm. My sister and my dad. Mom and my other dad. 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 I am thankful. I'm thankful for you and your sisters and your beautiful mommy and delicious meat and taters. Yeah. What am I thankful for in the year 2018? I've been thinking through that and there's so many things. Um, I'm so thankful for family and friends, my family and friends here at Christ Community and for uh, we have a new grandbaby coming in January so I'm thankful that the Lord has brought life 
talking to our family again and uh, the excitement that comes with that. We're looking forward to that. And on a bigger picture, I'm so thankful that the Lord is sovereign and that His mercy and um, grace are on our country again. Um, He's turning us back to righteousness and I'm so grateful for that. And even with everything that's going on around us, we know that that He's in charge and things will be just fine. And we, I really appreciate that. I'm, I'm grateful for that. So I say blessings to all. Have a great Thanksgiving. Uh, something that I'm very thankful for is just to see the way Christ community has been able to come alongside of one another and love one another and and just the way that God's knitted our hearts together. We've gone through a lot of the changes in 2018, but you know, God has made us a church. The people in the church are the church. There's just a building there that sits on a hill without the members that are in it. And when the members come in and the people come together and they love one another the way they do, at our church, uh, that's what becomes the church. And I'm very, very thankful to be able to be a part of uh, Christ Community Church. I, well, I see trees of green and red roses too. I watch them bloom for me and you and I think to myself. Wake up with the clouds off 